Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing a Master Yi game, and it is going to be AP Master Yi. You already saw that from the title, and you may have also glanced from the title that this is number 500. So the 500 games from viewers. Can't believe it actually grew to be so big. Unfortunately, it doesn't give me a whole lot of viewers, which is a shame, but hey, that's the way it is. So I actually have less viewers on these videos than I have videos of these, this series. Because on most of the games I will have about three to 400 viewers. And as I said, 500 games. So um, yeah, I could do the same as uh, any other YouTuber does. Because I think I'm the first and only one to do this. So actual games from viewers and not just one but an actual series. Um, of course, Improve Your LOL is uh, starting up, and um, he has a number of these uh, these kind of videos, a little more in-depth there, so you should check him out if you're interested in that, youtube.com slash Improve Your LOL, and yeah, he has been um, uh, doing some, some games from viewers as well, and uh, analyzing gameplay mistakes, and uh, well, what people do well and not do not so well, kind of what I'm doing, but a little more in depth than I am. I'm kind of following the game and giving some general advice most of the time because I think that is good enough for most people to uh, well to do what they do. Um, most people don't need the really detailed advice. It's more for the higher ELO people, and he is higher ELO than I am. So that's why he's doing that. So whilst he is standing around over here, I don't know why. I mean, it's not very realistic to assume that Shaco will invade at this point. And he is going to miss minions, at least two. Come on. Yeah, so he's going to miss two, maybe three. I think he will be in time for that one, yeah. Anyhow, immediately behind on uh, on this guy. Taking a little bit of damage there. But anyhow, to uh, continue my monologue there. Um, yeah, I started off this series uh, trying to improve people's play because uh, a lot of people didn't understand why certain plays were made and why they lost their games. Um, I hope by now people will have a little bit better understanding and because of my videos will have a better understanding of why the game plays out the way it does. And uh, wow, taking a lot of damage there. Oh, even more damage. No, he's going to stay alive. And the Meditate is going to heal him up quite nicely. Yeah, that doesn't really do anything. First blood in the top lane and then someone in the bottom lane also getting a kill. But simultaneous or almost simultaneous there. So yeah, 500 games done. I hope uh, most people will uh, will actually view more games than um, than just their own. But not actually sure how that works. That because uh, I put out a lot of these and I really don't have any champion that is better liked than others. Uh, so I can't really say from there. I guess. People just like to play, uh, to uh, no, like to see shorter gameplays, like uh, the clips. And maybe I should start doing that because, uh, well, my view count has been dwindling. Um, I lost about 150,000 views a month over the last two months, and that may have to do have something to do with, uh, well, with whatever really. Um, with people just uh, not being interested in long gameplays anymore. It may also have to do with new channels starting up. Personally, I think that um, it has to do with people just not wanting to see full gameplays anymore. So I may actually go and um, do more clip videos or something like that. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see. For now, we're still doing this. And um, yeah, Master Yi versus Ziggs here. And um, yeah, Ziggs is doing quite well. He. Uh, he did quite a lot of damage, but because he starts off with Adorned Ring, he has no way to heal up. So Master Yi not only has those boots and potions, he also has the Meditate. And the Meditate, of course, is going to allow him to heal up and not die and stay in the lane forever. So unfortunately, Wukong was standing in the bush forever 
I couldn't really get anything done. I don't know what happened. I don't really care either. So uh, bottom lane seems to have uh, kind of crappy support on one side, this guy, and a good support on the other side, this guy. But um, yeah, we'll see how that turns out. So far they are, um, what, one and one? Yeah, they are one and one. And yeah, Corky landed one kill, uh, Tarek landed one kill, so Corky ahead of that. And Corky getting another kill here. And wow, not landing the kill on this guy. That is uh, pretty amazing. Of course, with, uh, uh, with a support like this, you get a lot of damage on your, uh, on, in your lane. And jungler coming in, going to do some damage, but is it going to be good enough? No, he doesn't get any, well, he got his uh, long range piercing arrow off. But that's about it. So we're going back to the mid lane here. So far it is uh, 3 versus 2 in the opponent's favor. We are still uh, pretty far ahead in gold. 300 gold ahead. That's a full kill. Well, without the assist, of course. So yeah, that um, that is uh, okay, I guess. And that is mostly due to the minions here. Uh, Masti already up to 39 against uh, the 17 here on Ziggs. Ziggs is uh, kind of a special kind of uh, special, I guess. He uh, really hasn't been farming all that well and uh, just using his skills at random. Instead of just, yeah, hitting this minion when there are three minions available for killing. And yeah, those kind of things, that is just, that's no good. So yeah, the jungler coming in, but once again coming into a pushed lane. Really nothing he can do. And Shiko is going top lane, we will check that in a moment. Yeah, there's nothing to check in the mid lane. No, he's not going to do anything either. So it seems that um, everyone is just uh, standing around all day. And finally we get some damage here. And oh, they do get out. Nicely done. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, he jumped into two enemies. Of course he didn't know that. But uh, yeah, no heal for him. So um, the <laughs> Wukong... Yeah, he should have uh, ran out immediately when he saw the, the Shaco coming. Because if you're that low, you should never try to get the kill. You should, uh, if uh, no, you should try to get the kill in only one situation, namely if you're the only one there. Otherwise, just leave it to your teammates. I mean, they had that kill. It was two versus one, and it was a pretty safe kill. So if he just ran over here nothing would have happened or if he just went invisible and just jumped towards his teammate or something like that would have been good too but I don't think he had the invisibility available I don't know what the cooldown on that is that was finally what he needed to do against that heal and now it sucks to be you Masti because you have no mana what? he just took the blue buff Yeah, whatever. So a little bit of damage exchange over here. Bottom lane is also in some exchange mode here. Or at least it seems to be. Um, yeah, Vera is completely out of mana here. Not really able to do anything. And this guy taking the blue buff, but not really doing anything. And also has full mana, so doesn't really need the blue buff. And there we go, ultimate goes off, they should pick up one kill, Maybe, yeah they're going to pick up two, what, two, four, two. And the blue buff goes to Varus. So Wukong has the Rickles Lantern now. And it seems that uh, Renekton did quite a lot of damage there, but 
he also took quite a lot of damage so yeah kind of a, an, ex an even exchange don't know why this guy is is just throwing away all of his skills it's not like he has infinite mana he has two door rings that's not good enough to heal up your mana if you spam like that and like the the explosive minefield yeah that does damage but that satchel charge costs you 65 mana and it doesn't do damage it um, it should be used as uh, a tool for example to disrupt the the channel so the the meditate but not just thrown down as extra damage or of course well what it could be used for is for escaping or for making sure that your opponent can't escape because um, yeah those kind of uh, uses are still well very useful so yeah another kill here and oh he's going to live wow come on you know where he is yeah they're always there so no run he didn't see that okay he does get him nicely done Yeah, Masi would have always caught up because he had his ultimate up. So even if uh, Singe got out of that. Yeah. The, his, uh, yeah, the, the, the poison indeed. I, I was wondering why he didn't see that poison trail. But then he did see it. So, and... Um, Sinch, of course, should have suicided as soon as uh, Master E came after him. Should have not flashed over here, but flashed over here and just ran into the turret or even these turrets. Because, um, yeah, he was never going to get away from Master E. Master E is way too quick. And, yeah, the uh, Ziggs trying to run in there, trying to, uh, to get the damage done. But... Um, he didn't and then well the tower dive doesn't pay off <laughs> because Shaco was there and yes they did not get the kill pretty hard failing there but yeah well that's the way it goes sometimes didn't have an ignite up did have his flash up but uh, chose not to use it and okay bye bye Renekton oh he still had his ultimate up Really, he's still going to die, yeah, but he should have used that way earlier. That add, adds extra damage to your to your basic attack, I believe. I, I really don't understand those kind of plays, but... This picture is pretty horrible, by the way. I mean, the, the, the total picture will probably be very nice, because most of them are, but... Yeah... I don't know. This one just isn't very nice. Uh, so the this one uh, gaining 300 health while active, he deals 40 magic damage to nearby enemies. So yeah, it does increase your damage outputs. Wow, lots of damage going down. And is he go? No, he's not going to escape. He's not even going to pick up the kill, but his teammates are going to pick up the kill. But then Wukong gets killed. And come on, guys. Yeah, just get a kill here already. Uh-oh. Heal goes down. So not saving his teammates with that heal. Trying to save only himself. And wow. Three for one. Yeah. That was pretty fail once again. So 17 to 11 now against our team. Let's hope Master Yi can make something work here. He's 2 and 2. With 3 and 3, 2 and 5, 3 and 3 and 1 and 4 on his team. Um, so three of them are kind of positive. Well, I guess um, they're just equal. Neutral. And then two of them are have uh, completely lost this game already. Um, <laughs> no, not lost this game. 
but I guess uh, the Wukong kind of lost his jungling matchup and uh, this guy lost his support matchup because there's no way the enemy support now he's 3-3 three and three. there's no way he was doing as badly but it seems that uh, they're sharing minions and in fact Nocturne is getting more of them than Corky is and that is great for our red team here because um, yeah if you have this if you have an underfed Corky there is really nothing that is going to uh, work for you in the end game oh so aggressive well they do pick up one kill but that was a little bit too aggressive forgetting that he wasn't ADE AD with uh, with lifesteal can still do a whole lot of uh, of damage in those kind of situations APE not so much just uh, dies to whatever Ziggs, do you have ult? No, he does not. He just used it, right? Right on top of Master Yu, so how can he have his ultimate? I think he used it right on top of Master Yu just now, but or on the guy after Master Yi, I don't really remember but I think I saw him use that ultimate right there so um yeah no blue buff on either of the mid laners who took the blue buff from uh, from Master Yi then? it is um oh it's this guy Shaco actually took it at least I think he did because um he may have also picked up his own blue buff. <laughs> and wow. <laughs> yeah, that was an easy kill. And another easy kill there. The stun goes down and um yeah, excellent. Ziggs in some trouble here. Oh Master he has a blue buff. Oh yeah, he just killed Shaco. Okay. Um yeah, that is a special kind of stupid. Instead of jumping over the wall, he uh, forgot what his plan was. Wouldn't have mattered, because on the other side of the wall, someone was waiting for him. I think the Wukong. But still, if you're trying to jump over the wall with that satchel charge, you should jump over the wall with it. Not forget halfway through what you're doing. Maybe he's a goldfish. And uh, he just has... Um, yeah, maybe he just forgot what he was doing already, like a goldfish. More farm for me, that was really a stupid remark there. Yes, destroy my tower, more farm for me, thank you. Now that's just not true. I mean, just because you can now farm over here doesn't mean you get more farm. You get the same amount of farm. It's just easier to get it because well your your jungler can be next to you but since the enemy team gets 750 golds they can kind of uh, lose that a little bit so yeah the um, the Baron by the way becomes available if you kill this turret but this turret is still up because basically your uh, area of uh, control becomes up to here and you no longer have control over your blue buff and the Baron and your blue buff, yeah, it's it's just really risky to go for that. So um, red team goes for dragon and gets a dragon without any trouble. And wow, once again, the uh, Tarek getting killed here. Oh, sorry, I should follow him a little bit more. So getting the heal off and a lot of heal off. Wow up to almost full health again so yeah Shaco clone gets killed but that's no real problem I mean it's a little bit annoying for them to uh, to lose that but it's not like it's uh, it's very necessary to have yeah Master Yi just going in for some damage probably going to heal up again yeah there he goes and uh, 
the Ignite not really doing anything against him. Ignite so, so annoying to deal with. Uh, but easy to deal with if you have a shield or if you're Master Yi and you have, uh, or AP Master Yi, and you have that huge heal. Because that is a huge amount of heal that he has. has been destroyed. Um, yeah, as you can see, 1820 health. And yes, it reduces a little bit of that, but it is 5 seconds, the uh, Ignite is also 5 seconds. So assuming that you have it f at the full uh, length, so you use it at the exact moment that Master starts to channel this, it uh, still does, uh, or gives you 900 health with um, a lot of bonus armor and magic resist. So all in all, good deal. And is he finally going to get out? No way. No. I don't know why he didn't do that earlier. He could have saved the enemy there. Or the ally. But yeah, godlike. So Master Yi really starting to, uh, to perform here. 9 and 3 now. As it is time for them to uh, to start pressuring one of the lanes, at least one of the lanes, to make sure that the enemy can't defend as well, because that's what we see in um, in most of the games that uh, people just forget. They should uh, they should pressure the lane. And no, what the hell? So yeah, Master Yi going to just kill this uh, this clone before it does anything. <laughs> oh man, almost getting the kill there. Yeah, that uh, that Alpha Strike is super powerful here. Going to heal up. Oh, that was yeah, that was wrong. The uh, what's it called? The fear disrupts that. So he should have waited for the fear, but he might have died there. Oh, yeah, gets the kill, and there goes the heal again. Healing up in turret range, and yeah, taking two tower shots, but that's no problem. He healed up for 1800 and took two tower shots for 400 or something like that. So, both teams uh, have a surrender vote here, which is pretty amazing. Because, um, yeah, it's 22 th 23 to 23. And the, the red team is definitely ahead in gold. But yeah, we see a lot of those uh, those surrender votes on teams that are actually doing well. And I don't really understand why. You, you need to understand when you're doing well. And how you're doing has nothing to do with this score. It has to do with this score. And even more important the uh, the change in that score in recent times because if you're behind in the first part of the game that means nothing if you're uh, coming back at that point so you're doing all of the uh, the damage and getting a whole lot of things done in that later stage of the game even if you're behind you're not really behind you should surrender yeah let's run in one versus five because they had one weak champion I mean, if you're Master Yi, that's a whole different story. Double kill, come on! Triple? Yes! Heal up! Oh, there's the, the, the Quadra. Come on, go for the Quadra. Oh, man! Man! What the fuck? Quadra kill, and the way he did that, wow! I I have no clue what this guy is trying to say by the way. <laughs> oh, this guy doesn't know Master Yi. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Oh man, that is kind of sad when you don't know that. Wow, they already surrendered. Okay, that's cool. Surrender comes in. There we go. Getting the explosion going. 
Very easy match, 16-3 Master Yi, kind of, no, not kind of, super carried this hard. 3-8, and 1-8, one and, and even the 3-4 and four and the 5-3 and three weren't that good. He had uh, by far the most minions on his team, and um, the only one that could ke keep up with his minions was uh, on the other side, the Singed. But yeah, 16 kills is pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, man, Hex. Hex, bro. <laughs> so amazing how people still don't know how Master Yi works. He's a 450 champion. Everyone should have Master Yi. Because it takes like three games to uh, to get his money back. Or his uh, um, IP. But anyway. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. GG.